Finger skate selective now in HD. Finger skate selective now in HD. Finger skate selective now in HD. What up? It's Finger Skate Selective here. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple things. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you how to install crown kingpins. These come free with FSS tape available at afflictionfingerboards.com. If you don't know, now you know. I have made a video before showing how I install crown kingpins, but it's an older video and I don't think a lot of you, especially the newer subs, have seen it. So I'm going to make another video showing you how, just so you guys know for sure how to do it. Um, it's super easy. You guys need to be using these. Um, uh, the good uh, reason why is because you can roll with your trucks as loose as you want or as tight as you want or anywhere in between. Full adjustability and usually when you roll loose trucks with the stock kingpins and they're super loose, the nut will back off and then uh, you can lose your bushings and all that stuff. But with the kingpins, they stay in there, you can have them loose and it's just a good idea. And girls like seeing guys tighten up the kingpins with an Allen wrench. Makes you look like a boss, like Rick Rouse. What's that on your shirt? I think it's barbecue sauce. Uh, uh, so I'm going to show you how to install crown king pins. Then I'm going to show you how I shape trucks. I have a brand new Reed On truck here. Um, big shout out to Reed On Trucks. I'll be coming with a full review on Reed On Trucks very soon. But um, really the reason people use wheel washers is to keep that sharp edge away from their expensive bearing wheels. And I do this with every set of wide trucks before I put nice bearing wheels on them. And I do not use wheel washers and all my bearing wheels are still in mint condition. So I will show you how to uh, shape trucks so that'll be real cool so we'll get right into it so first we're gonna install the crown king pins this is what I do and this is what you should do first off take the truck all the way apart take the nut off try not to lose it take the hanger off the base plate the hanger is the top part with the axle that the wheels go on and the bottom is the base plate that's the part that bolts to the deck if you don't know now you know wow those bushings are tight so take the hanger off make sure the bushings are off so you got just the base plate with the stock king pin in it now, you can set that up and tap out the kingpin, or you can push on it like this, push it against something hard, and usually they pop out like that one just did. Doesn't take a lot of strength, it's not really hard, and I didn't tap on the threads, so if I wanted to put this kingpin back in, I can. I can just put it in there and push it all the way in, and I can reuse this if I want to. So then once you got that, once you got the kingpin out of the base plate, and it looks like this, take an old tech deck or something, just the deck, you'll know why in a minute, and then bolt that base plate to the deck. Alright, so anyway, this is what you have so far. You've got the base plate with, with the kingpin taken out, bolted to an old tech deck. So, that's what you want. You can heat it up and bend it like I did. If you want, uh, yeah, better ask your parents permission before you uh, mess with fire. So, yeah. Okay, so anyway, once you have all that out and you've got the base plate bolted to the old tech deck, you want to grab a kingpin, crown kingpin, of course, and the wrench that comes with the FSS tape. Then, now that you have it on a tech deck, you can hold it really tight. And that's the reason we put it on a tech deck. Make sure you line it up. Push really hard and turn at the same time. Pushing hard will get it started in the hole. And then once it's started, you should be able to screw it right in. And it should go right in by itself when you turn it. Now, after you start it in, kind of want to eyeball it and line it up with the truck. See the curve in the base plate? You want it to be somewhat lined up with that curve coming upward at a little angle. And then this way, you want to make sure you're screwing it in straight up and down. So when you put your truck together, it's straight. So, once you got that in and it's started, screw it in a ways. Just keep on putting it in. 
I know the truck's not put together. Don't worry about that right now. Don't let your wrench come out. What you're doing is getting the base plate ready and the pin going in so that when you're ready to put the truck together, once you got it in pretty far, that should be good. Now just take the pin out. And be patient with it. Then you have a base plate and there's threads cut into it. You basically tapped it with the screw. So it's ready for the kingpin and it screws right in now. So now that you have the base plate ready for the kingpin to be screwed in, you can go ahead and get the truck and the bushings and everything ready to be put back together. So take your crown kingpin with your bushings that you're going to use. I have some old crappy bushings here. Washers are hard to pick up. So put the top washer on the kingpin just like normal. But it's a little different when you're using the kingpin because you have to put the truck together in your hand basically first. So put the top washer on, then the top bushing. They fit around the kingpin snug. Sorry, I'm not showing you what's going on here. I just put the top washer and the top bushing on the kingpin. Then, before I go any further, I'm going to take my pivot cup here. I'm going to press it on the pivot point of the hanger. I'm going to push it on there. I'm going to try and squeeze it on a little further. I'm going to snip the excess. So then I got the pivot cup pushed on the uh, pivot point of the hanger. Then, I'm going to put my crown kingpin with top washer and top bushing through the hanger just like that then I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom bushing on can you see that hold on I'll show you there in a minute so then you got the pivot cup put on you have the top washer top bushing then on the other side of the hanger you have the bottom bushing then you're ready for the bottom washer so then you got your whole hanger put together now you just need to put it on the base plate make sure your pivot cup goes down in the hole and your pin is lined up with your new thread hole that you just cut out with the pin Start screwing it in there. Make sure your pivot cup is lined up. Snug it up. Now you have a fully tuned out truck, wide truck, with crown kingpin, pivot cup. Now you can take it off the uh, tech deck and put it on another uh, fingerboard that you want to put it on. Or if you're keeping it on a tech deck, leave it on there. But you have a tuned out truck with a good kingpin that you can adjust. If you want to run your trucks loose or tight, it's all good to go. You can change kingpins. You can change bushings with leaving the truck base plate on. You can change your pivot cup without taking the uh, truck off the deck. That's another good reason to use a uh, kingpin but we're gonna leave this on and the reason is I'm gonna show you how to shape the truck now so the bottom of the bottom of the truck right in here see how it's big and square that's what we want to get rid of so I use a small metal file you should be able to get these at any hardware store or tool department it's just a metal file this one has cross hatch so I'm all I'm gonna do is rub that metal till it's gone all the way around that truck That's why I put it on an old tech deck, because the file, more than likely, is going to hit the deck. So, just like a bomb's coming. So, that's why I put it on an old nasty one, because I don't want to put it on a wood custom deck and then tear everything up. So, just work at that back side for a while. Can you see this? And it's definitely a lot easier with the truck bolted to a deck because you can hold the entire thing. Because if you try and hold the just the truck, it can really hurt your fingers after a while. And I've done this a lot. So take your time, file all the way around it at an angle like this. Can you see the difference now? Now I can use those trucks. Well, once I do the other side, I can throw a bearing wheel on there and it won't get won't get chewed up because the only thing that would ever touch the truck is the bearing so that's how I shape trucks I definitely recommend it 
I never use wheel washers, um, and my bearing wheels are all still nice on the back side. So, yeah, not saying you have to do that or anything, but it's something I do. If you look at custom trucks, they're normally rounded like that, so, and that's why they do that. Like, Black River trucks are rounded, so. It is what it is. Get a small metal file. It shouldn't be too expensive. I just grabbed this one from work. Hope my boss doesn't see this, but anyway, yeah, good to go. Now you know how to put on a crown kingpin and shape your trucks. I hope this helped you guys. If you have any suggestions or comments for how to just put them in the comments. I really appreciate you guys watching. I have a ton of reviews coming. You already know this. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Later. Fingers, 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 skate selective. Fingers, fingers, skate selective. Fingers, 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 skate selective.